care for your pet's IV line part two. Sometimes you might find that the drip rate has stopped and you'll need to do a little bit of problem solving to figure out what's going on. The first step is to make sure that everything is open. So you want your roll to be all the way up and you want the pinches to be open and able to move. Now, if everything is open and it's still not dripping, you want to check the line for kinks and straighten out your pet's arm. Sometimes the kink in the elbow can stop the fluid from running properly. You want to also feel at the top of the arm here to see if there's a little pocket of fluid possibly accumulating if the catheter had slipped out of the vein. But this all feels good and we still don't have a drip rate. So it could be a clot on the end of the catheter in your pet's arm. So first we're going to try the pinch pump method to release the clot. You're going to pinch the end of the line near your patient and pump towards her arm or his arm and pinch and push and pinch and push and see if you can push that clot out through the catheter. Unfortunately, we are still not dripping. So the next step is to use a syringe and needle that we have provided for you to get the clot pushed out. So you're gonna remove the cap from the needle and go into this yellow port. Draw up a good amount of the fluid Flick any bubbles out, push any bubbles out that you find. Okay, we're good. Then you put it in the port that is closest to your pet. Just like that. Pinch closer to the bag than to your pet. And slowly pump in the fluid in short but strong bursts. That will hopefully push a clot through and out. You might initially feel some resistance at first, and that is you fighting the clot. But if you start pumping and all of a sudden it's a lot easier, there's a good chance you've released the clot and it could be flowing. So you want to release your pinch, pull out your needle, and check your drip rate again. Now I have my clap closed just for the purpose of demonstration, but we do have a drip again. So we want to make sure that we readjust our drip rate so we have the prescribed amount going into our pet. If you have any questions or concerns and really can't get your IV working, it's always safest to call the clinic and get some advice from a medical professional. We hope that everything goes well with you and your pet and that they start feeling better soon. All right, take care.